Welcome. Today I would like to talk about how to do uh, simple sorting in Java. Essentially, I want to talk about two sorts, insertion sort and selection sort. So let's get started. I have a program here. Basically, uh, it sets a, a list which has uh, 10 numbers in reverse order and we want to sort it. And I have created a function or a method to verify that the sorted list is correct or not. If it's not correct, it prints a stack trace. So if I just run this thing, uh, it should essentially uh, print a stack trace and you can see uh, that it's uh, that's what it is doing and that's good. So right now, let's say uh, if we want to uh, use what is called an insertion sort, uh, what is the best way to do an insertion sort? So I have uh, like to point you to the Wikipedia, which has a very uh, good uh, demonstration of this. Basically what it is, is at any point what you want to do is uh, have a sorted partial results uh, from less than or equal to x on this side. Then you have a new item here uh, which may not be very sorted um, uh, compared to all these other things and you have unsorted data. So what essentially you end up doing is take one, un one unsorted data from this side and then uh, move it to the right position in this uh, left side and keep advancing uh, the position. So if you look at the algorithm itself it's pretty straightforward uh, if you look at the insertion sort we are starting from uh, 0 through the length of the array actually you can make it probably length minus 1 then you set the j is equal to i the position and then you check for everything which is less than uh, j is greater than 0 uh, j is equal to i and when as long as j is greater than 0 and as long as what we have on the left hand side is less than equal to the previous we want to reverse swap it and we change the value of j equal to j minus 1 so going back down the list we want to make sure uh, that's getting set so if you look at it if i just do the insertion sort and verify hopefully it should run fine and let's just check it and it says okay it didn't print any exception or anything so that was pretty straightforward so another sort which is actually quite similar to this uh, is called the selection sort and in a selection sort, the major difference is that uh, what you want to do at any point is uh, you have a sorted sublist on the left hand side, but on the right hand side, what you want to do is take whatever a minimum value you can find and move it, uh, assume the minimum is the first element, for example, and test against all the elements to the right hand side and to find a new minimum and then in the end just swap the minimum so that is kind of the main algorithms so the main difference is in this what we are doing is taking the minimum as the last element from the sorted uh, portion of the array and then uh, going to the rest of the array on the right hand side and uh, finding the new minimum and swapping the new minimum with this minimum value so uh, if you look, want to look, quick, take a look at the algorithm, it's pretty straightforward. You're going through 0 to the length minus 1. Then set the minimum to be the left mode position i, whichever one it is. And then you search from the rest of the position from i plus 1 to the array length. And you find a new minimum and you store the index. And if the index is uh, different from what you thought was the original minimum, you swap it. And this should work as well. So let me just uh, run this through and you say it went through okay so if you want to know more and uh, about these and other things i'll add this to uh, my website and uh, under the java and thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day